Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and welcome back to another Watch Dogs mod showcase. Today we're going to be looking at the pacifist challenge mod for Watch Dogs 2. Now this is basically a mod that removes all lethal ability from the game. So it's basically Watch Dogs 2 what it was meant to be without any cool weapons and on super hard mode. The mod page says it's inspired by this guy Dark Vapor AU's pacifist challenge playthrough for GTA 5 and Watch Dogs 2. So the mod creator decided to make this mod which actually just removes the ability to kill anyone. It really puts your skills to the test as it was designed for a truly pacifist playthrough. Here are all the changes that this mod makes. Guns can no longer use ammo when you use them, but enemies still can. The only exception is Wrench's section of Motherload, which if you don't know is the last mission in the game. But even in this he has nothing but a single ACR assault rifle. This weapon cannot be obtained outside this mission so it can't be exploited. It goes on to say that with sheer dumb luck and levels of RNG, you technically could beat the mission without a rifle, but it's not worth risking your sanity over. And yeah, I agree. If you've ever played that mission, you know, Wrench has his like grenade launcher thing or whatever, and it's uh, it's actually a really fun mission, but I can't imagine breaking into that facility without a gun at all. The next change is that melee is disabled. You now need to take more time during enemy infested areas. So basically it's entirely stealth unless you want to die instantly. Throwable explosives and zappers are gone. Mass hacks like mass distract and blackout are now gone. There's a custom main menu and loading screen and a cleaned up UI, which I think is pretty cool, especially if you're doing a playthrough or you're trying to do a live stream, trying to speed run the game with this mod which first of all, I don't even know why you'd even put yourself through that. But if you wanted to, I would say it looks nice and people can verify that you're not actually using a different version of the game. This mod also removes all purple missions. So that means loot trucks and CTOS boxes. And just like installing any other mod, this also disables online play. Now I've played with this mod for a little bit, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And uh, I know enough to say that I will not be beating the game with this mod. You can, but I will not be doing that. I care too much about my mental well-being, but if I was a speedrunner or just someone who does this or just enjoys the challenge more, I could definitely see myself playing this. So yeah, what do you all think about this mod? Let me know down in the comment section below, are you going to download it, are you going to play it? Do you think this is worse or better than the hardest difficulty with weapons? And yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.